So I've got some bananas here, and we're going to use these to show us that there's a difference between saying we're going to doing something and actually doing it. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's first find out what is it that we should be doing. When we look at the Bible, we can see Jesus is our perfect example of knowing how to live a life that pleases God. We can see that Jesus loved others. Do you think God wants us to love others? Yes, of course. And we can also see that Jesus spent time with God. Jesus did this by praying. He didn't just pray five minutes before going to bed or five minutes before having a meal. The Bible tells us that Jesus sometimes spent the whole night praying to God. Do you think God wants us to spend time with him? Yes, of course. Again, when we look at Jesus' life, we can see that he didn't just sit quiet and do nothing. In fact, Jesus spoke up. When he was a young boy, we find Jesus in the temple. And he didn't just sit quietly, he spoke up and taught the leaders. When there were people that no one else wanted to spend time with or talk to, Jesus spoke up and said to them, follow me. When there were people that didn't understand what the Bible was saying, Jesus spoke up and he read the Bible to them and he explained what it meant. Even when there were huge crowds that followed Jesus, Jesus spoke up and he taught them. Do you think God wants us to speak up? Yes, of course. God wants us to tell others about Jesus and teach others what his Bible says. One of the greatest things that Jesus did in his life was he put God first. He did this firstly when he gave up being in heaven just to be born on earth as a baby boy. And he did this again when he died on the cross just to forgive our sins. Do you think God wants us to put him first? Yes, of course. So now that we know what we should be doing, are you ready to do it? Are you ready to love others? Are you ready to spend time with God? Are you ready to speak up and tell others about who God is? Are you ready to put God first? So wait, wait, wait. Before you say you're going to do it, let's see what the difference is between saying something and actually doing it. I have a banana. I also have a banana. I'm going to peel my banana. I'm also going to peel my banana. You actually have to peel your banana. Yeah, that's what I said I will do. I will peel my banana. And I meant what I said when I said I'm going to peel my banana. So that's that. Okay. Well, I'm going to eat my banana. I'm also going to eat my banana. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I should have peeled my banana. Mm-hmm. I guess you should have peeled your banana. So we can easily see that there's a difference between saying we're going to do something and actually doing it. And when we read the Bible and we see that Jesus actually loved others, he spent time with God, he spoke about God and told them what the Bible said, and most importantly, he put God first. And we say, yep, we know that's a good thing to do. And we say, yes, we're going to do it. We have to actually do it. We need to actually love others and actually spend time with God and actually speak up and tell others the good news. And most importantly, we need to actually put God first. Because you see, if we just say we're going to do those things and we don't actually do them, well then it's as ridiculous as eating a banana with a peel on it.